Welcome. I'm Reverend Janae, the priest at St. Michael's Episcopal Church here in Bonaire. And we're so glad that you've come to join us to celebrate the Feast of St. Francis of Assisi. And today we're having a special blessing of the animals, our first ever virtual blessing of the animals. So we're so glad that you're here. Please join me in prayer. Let us pray. Lord, give us humility to thank you for the creation of animals who can show affection, which sometimes puts us to shame. Enlarge our respect for these, your creatures, of whom we are the guardians, and give us a sense of responsibility towards all your creation. For Jesus Christ's sake, amen. Join me as we pray together Psalm 148. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and fog, tempestuous wind doing his will, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild beasts and all cattle, creeping things and winged birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the world young men and maidens, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name only is exalted. His splendor is over earth and heaven. He has raised up strength for his people and praise for all his loyal servants. The children of Israel, a people who are near him, alleluia. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus said, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. 
Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all of his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? Therefore do not worry, saying, What will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for these things, and indeed your heavenly fathers knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do not worry about what you will eat or drink or wear. St. Francis took this passage of scripture that we just heard to heart. It is in honor of St. Francis, the patron saint of animals and creation, that we have our pet blessing today. Francis was born in 1182 and lived to 1226. He was the son of a rich merchant, but after spending over a year as a captive of war and after serious illness, Francis's thoughts turned more to eternal matters and he came to Christ. Francis began to use some of his family's resources to help the poor and rebuild the church. But when his father angrily refused, Francis renounced his wealth, stripping and standing naked before his father. And he began to rely on God alone to provide for his daily needs. Eventually, Francis started the monastic order of the Franciscans, known as the Friars Minor, and they lived simply in poverty, helping the poor. Francis preached the gospel all around the countryside where he lived in Assisi, Italy, seeking to make Christ real to everyone. Francis loved nature and animals, and many stories about Francis highlight his interaction with the animals. One story is about how Francis was preaching to the birds and what may have been the first blessing of the animals. The story goes that he and his companions were walking and they came across a flock of birds who didn't fly off as they approached. So he stopped and he decided to preach a little sermon. My brother and sister birds, he said, you should praise your creator and always love him. He gave you feathers for clothes, wings to fly, and all of the things you need. It is God who made your home in thick, pure, thin, pure air. Without sowing or reaping, you receive God's guidance and protection. It sounds a lot like our reading today, doesn't it? After he walked through the birds, making the sign of the cross, the flock flew off rejoicing. All of creation is meant to praise and glorify God. Just as the psalm we read reminds us, wild beasts and all cattle, creeping things and winged birds, let them give praise to the Lord. Shortly before he died, Francis wrote a hymn, the Song of Brother Sun, which exhorts all creation to worship and praise God, sun and moon, birds and animals. We will hear some of those stanzas of that hymn in a few minutes as we look as we look at the pets and animals we bless today in our photo montage. We know that hymn as all creatures of our God and King. It is important for all of God's creatures to give God's praise, especially us humans. Especially during this time of pandemic, many of you have realized how God has used your pets to bring you comfort and companionship. In other words, maybe there's a reason that dog is God spelled backwards. Even for those of you who may not have your own pets, I imagine for the time you've been able to spend out in nature, watching the birds and enjoying creation has been restorative and life-giving during this difficult time. We ask God 
to bless us with creation and God asks us to help steward that creation in this world. God uses all of his creation to bring blessing and healing to the world. For that, we give thanks and praise. Amen. Let us now offer our prayers for our pets and all other creatures and critters of the earth. Please respond to each bidding with the words, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, O Lord. You have placed the stewardship of all creation in our trust. Help us to honor and respect the animals that share the earth with us. Protect them from cruelty, disease, and extinction. Let us bless the Lord. Blessed be God forever. Lord, you created all the animals and gave us reason and skill to train some of them to help us in our daily life and work and to be companions for us in daily life. Let us bless the Lord. Blessed be God forever. Bless all our pets and companion animals those here with us and those we have left at home. We now name them before you. Petunia. Let us bless the Lord. Blessed be God forever. We remember this day, Lord, all our pets who have died, who we now name before you. Trisket, Sierra, They have served us and blessed us with the reflection of your beauty. May they rest in peacefulness with you, the great shepherd of the sheep. Let us bless the Lord. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, again and again, you give us signs of your enduring love. Through your lowliest creatures, continue to draw us into your saving embrace. Let us bless the Lord. Blessed be God forever.
as we come to the time of the pet blessing right now, I invite you, if you're able, to grab your pet and bring your pet close to you, or at least hold your pet in your heart, as I say, a general blessing for all of our animals and pets, and then a specific blessing that you can repeat after me with the name of your own pet. Let us pray. O oh God, you have done all things wisely. In your goodness, you have made us in your image and have given us care over all other living things. In your compassion and love, bless each of the animals that we are praying for today, that in our homes they may be signs of the creation of which we are all part. From their playfulness, let us learn of your joy in all that you have made. From their dependence on us, Teach us confidence to trust in you. And from their responsiveness, let us be inspired to love you. All this we ask in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now you can say this prayer after me. Dear Lord, may you bless, name your pets, and bless us in this household. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May we enjoy life together and find joy in the God who created us. Amen. We conclude our pet blessing today with a prayer that is attributed to St. Francis. I invite you to join me. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. <laughs> Thank you.